Hello viewers, may the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore. Amen. I welcome you very warmly to this session, this reflection of Holy Thursday. And I welcome you warmly too to the Triduum, the very last, the last three days of the Paschal um, mystery celebration. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday with Easter Sunday. And we pray the Lord to be our inspiration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, my name is Reverend Father Emem Omoren, a priest of the Catholic Diocese of Ikorikbene in Nigeria. As I said um, in the opening remarks, it is a pleasure that God has given us this privilege of celebrating another Easter Triduum. My reflection today is centering around the celebration of Holy Thursday. And Holy Thursday, the church commemorates that final time before Jesus' passion. The church brings to mind the joys and the eventual sorrows of the final hours before the crucifixion. And that's why we also talk about um, the prayer of Jesus and his agony in the garden. Today, Holy Thursday, we bring to mind all that the Lord did and said before his passion and death. Today, we bring to mind, especially those things he left us as a memorial. And um, the Catholic world today celebrates something very significant. You know, on Holy Thursday, the Catholic world celebrates three very important mysteries. The mystery of the institution of the Eucharist, the mystery of the institution of the priesthood, and the mystery of the fraternal love that God has left us as an example. And I want to use this opportunity to congratulate everybody, every child of God, every Christian who is part of this celebration. But in a very special way, I want to congratulate all priests out there, all our bishops, beginning with the Holy Father, and all priests, because today we celebrate the institution of the priesthood. And um, we are very proud, I am very proud to have this privilege to be called by God to serve him as a priest and on a day like this we thank God for all our priests and we remember to pray for them today we remember many other things remember as I said God has left us an eternal memorial and that memorial is a very important one that we must never forget so while there are many many lessons to be learned in the context of the celebration of Holy Thursday many lessons from the readings and from the celebration itself. I would like us to focus on just one. But permit me to draw your attention to the readings of Holy Thursday, because it is from the readings that we will give meaning to our own reflection. The first reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8 and 11 to 14. And it talks about the institution of the past Passover meal the institution of the Passover meal. The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. And um, incidentally, providentially too, it talks about the institution of the Eucharist. Paul is saying, what I received from the Lord, I'm also handing over to you. And he eventually ended by talking about this as a memorial. When Jesus did, when did, Jesus did say, do this, in memory of me. The Gospel reading from the Gospel according to John chapter 13 verses 1 to 15 talks about how God loved his own to the end. You know, the end here before his passion, before his death. God loved his own and who are his own, we are his own. So today, bringing these three readings together, the first reading with the institution of the Passover meal, the second reading with the institution of the Holy Eucharist, and the Gospel reading with the wonderful message that God loved His own to the end, I want to propose to you a theme for reflection. And that theme has to do with communion. 
my dear friends in Christ, stay in communion. Stay in communion. If you talk about memorial, there is no, there is the best way to express a memorial is in communion. And um, what do I mean by communion? Sharing. Life is all about sharing. Life is all about being available to one another. And if you think of the memories we've always had, the best memories anybody has had in life has to do with the times you shared some good thing, some good maybe occasion or some good event with loved ones. So today, while we're thinking about how Jesus is going to suffer and die, this very last minute, this very last day, this very last occasion, the best we can think of now as a theme for reflection is the importance of communion. The importance of communion in a family, the importance of communion in the church, the importance of communion in the society, the importance of communion wherever we find ourselves. I remember I have said communion here meaning sharing, sharing the depth of what we stand for. And in the context of Holy Thursday, communion here has to capture the aspect of love. You see, when we think of the first reading, the institution of the Passover meal, if you look through that reading, more than eight times there is mention of family, community, family. Let every family buy this. Let the goat be killed and let them share. The idea of sharing and communion is always there. And you know, today, a lot of people have forgotten that there is a, a, very, th a very important thing in what we call maybe family meal. When we were growing up, I remember that my mother would um, have all of us. I have um, three siblings. He, she would have all of us eat from the same plate. And sometimes um, there were problems and maybe they would put maybe three pieces of, we were four. My mom would put four pieces of meat in, in the soup. And uh, because she wanted us to share, nobody had a separate plate. All of us ate from the same plate. Four pieces of meat. And while eating, all of a sudden, there was a tendency for one piece of meat to miss. And, um, and you'll be looking for who took that piece of meat? Who must have taken that piece of meat? Of course, you, you're sure I wasn't the one. <laughs> it couldn't have been myself. It must have been other people <laughs> that took that. But she insisted. Whether you take the meat before time or you don't take the meat, she insisted. My mother insisted that we would always eat together. Communion. Family meal. This is reflected in the first reading. There is need for us to sustain this. There is an example here that Jesus is giving us. Even from the first reading. And from the first reading down to the second reading. And even to the gospel reading. In the context of Holy Thursday, Jesus left an example. A memorial that was, you know, reflected in communion. He brought them together and shared a meal with them. He shared a meal with them. From the same cup, after blessing, they shared the wine. They shared the bread. Today, my dear friends, I am telling you in the context of this celebration, let's remember a very simple message here. Stay in communion. Stay in communion with your people. Stay in communion with your church. Stay in communion with your pastor. Stay in communion with your bishop. Stay in communion with your flock. Stay in communion with your family. Share what God has given to you. If Jesus did not want us to take this as a serious um, message, he would not have left us with this example. And Paul puts it clearly and says that Jesus said, do this in memory of me. Jesus himself also said, do this in memory of me. Share in communion in memory of me. So today, my dear friends, while we are celebrating Holy Thursday, with all the other accompaniments of this celebration, and having to think of the, the love that God has lavished on us to the end, the love of instituting the Eucharist, the love of instituting the priesthood, and the love of instituting the, the, the commandment of love and sharing. I want to remind you again, stay in communion. It pays to stay in communion. Share what you have. Share the joy you have. Share the meal you have from the family and in the church. Share the meal we have from one cup in the church too. And you come down to um, the celebration of Easter. The love that Jesus has shown, we're told in the gospel of this celebration, the gospel according to John, 
that um, he he removed his he removed his cloak and um, put on a towel and began to wash the feet of his disciples. He showed this example of love and humility. And this is part of communion. When you share what you have and understand that you are one family, understand that um, when you leave the scene, others can see what you did and hear what you did as a memorial, that communion can help you stay beyond difficult times. As we thank God for the Triduum, which we are starting today, as we thank God for the institution of the Eucharist, the greatest gift that God has given to us, as we thank God for the institution of the priesthood, the best gift that we human beings have received, as we thank God for the gift of charity, let us never ever forget to stay in communion. Share the love, share the Eucharist, share the joy. Let's share the blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And once again, I invite you, especially during this Triduum, to stay connected. Please subscribe and um, like and share and help us to continue to propagate the word because I am sure at the end of the Triduum and beyond it, the blessings of God will remain with us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, my God.